to solve the nice problem, let's denote the first equation as one, the second equation as two. Let's do one times two. For this one, we need to use the exponent rule. A to the power m times a to the power n equals a to the power m plus n. So we get 2 to the power a times 2 to the power b. We get 2 to the power a plus b. 3 to the power b times 3 to the power a. So we get 3 to the power b plus a. It is actually a plus b. So the right side, 12 times 18. We write 12 as 2 times 6, 18, 3 times 6. Next, we need to use this exponent rule, a to the power of m times b to the power of m equals a times b to the power of m. So we get 2 times 3 to the power of a plus b. The right side, 2 times 3, 6, times 6, times 6. So 3, uh, 6 to the power of 3. We can write as 6 to the power of a plus b equals 6 to the power of 3. Same base, same exponent. So we get a plus b equals 3. Next, we do 1 divided by 2. For this one, we need to use this rule a to the power m divided by a to the power n equals a to the power m minus n. 2 to the power a divided by 2 to the power b, so we get 2 to the power a minus b. 3 to the power b divided by 3 to the power a, so we get 3 to the power b minus a. The right side, 12 divided by 18. Next, we need to use this rule, a to the power negative n. We can write as 1 over a to the power n. So we get 2 to the power a minus b. We write 3 as 1 over 3. So the exponent becomes negative b plus a, or a minus b. The right side can be simplified as 2 over 3. Then we use this rule again for the left side. So we get 2 times 1 over 3. Actually, we get 2 over 3 to the power a minus b. The right side, we can write as 2 over 3 to the power 1. Again, same base, same exponent. So we get a minus b equals 1. So we denote that as 3, denote that as 4. Let's combine them together. Right, so we get a plus b equals three, a minus b equals one. Add these two equations together, so we get two a equals four, so a equals two. Subtract these two equations: a minus a is zero, b minus negative b, so we get two b the right side. 3 minus 1, 2, so we get b equals 1. So the target expression, a plus b to the power of a times b equals 2 plus 1 to the power of 2 times 1, which is 3 to the power of 2. The final answer is 9.